Hello guys and welcome back to Eyes on the Ball. Today we've got another tier maker. Um, not trying to do too many tier makers at once. I've just got a couple lined up and they're a good option in the off season. So today I'm ranking WBBL stadiums as well as just like Australian domestic stadiums. So these are all the venues hosting WBBL in 2024. Now, the first stadium that I have on this list is North Sydney Oval, which is a pretty good ground, um, pretty good domestic ground, hosts sometimes men's one-day cup cricket, hosts quite a fair bit of women's WBBL and international cricket, has hosted, um, has hosted one game of Big Bash before, it also hosts AFLW and I think it's hosted NRL. W or State of Origin. So it's hosted quite a few events and I feel like it's a pretty good ground. The T's are world class international venue, good domestic venue, decent domestic ground and local venue. So to kick things off, I reckon I'm gonna put North Sydney Oval in good domestic venue. Next ground we have is the City Power Centre, which similar to North Sydney Oval, close Quite a lot of women's cricket in WBBL, women's internationals. Also, they host Sheffield Shield, One Day Cup, men's, and then has hosted Big Bash before. So it does host a fair bit of cricket. I don't think it really hosts much footy, but cricket is the main sport. Victoria's home of cricket that's not the MCG. So um, it's a pretty good ground. I had an upgrade about five years ago, which has helped make it a better ground. So I'm going to put it in good domestic venue behind North Sydney Oval. Next um, ground I have is the Wacker. It's a pretty good ground. It's a bit of an old ground is the only thing. Um, like, used to host the Test and all Big Bash before the newly – Built Optus Stadium arrived in Perth. So now host WBBL and all WA domestic matches, men and women. Um, has hosted some women's internationals since Optus has been around and has even hosted women's tests. But all the big tests and um, men's internationals and big bash go to Optus Stadium. It's a bit odd. There is renovations going on, so that'll liven it up a bit and turn it into a good ground once again, but for now I'm going to put it in C as a decent domestic ground. Next ground on this list is um, Allen Border Field. Now, similar to North Sydney Injunction, hosts quite a lot of women's cricket, hosts WBBL, WNCL, then also hosts One Day Cup and Sheffield Shield. So it hosts a fair variety of cricket, also hosts women's internationals. It's basically the home of Queensland cricket, but they play all the big stuff at the Gabba, like men's internationals, um, BBL. It's a pretty good ground. Uh, I think it's had a re renovation not too long ago, just a new sort of seating area, but got a couple of stands and got a pretty decent capacity that they sell out. Most games, I feel like, or they get good crowds to most heat games there for WBBL. So I, I'm going to probably put it in, I don't know, I'll put it in B, good domestic venue, ahead of City Power Centre. Next ground we have is Dremoyne Oval. Now, I was surprised when I saw this ground was hosting WBBL this year. It hasn't hosted WBBL in a fair while. But it's a pretty stock standard. It hasn't really hosted any New South Wales career. It's a pretty standard club Cricket ground, local cricket, but also has been used for WBBL, One Day Cup, Shield, not too much more than that, but would host quite a bit of New South Wales Premier Cricket. Um, it's just an alternative to Cricket Central because I don't think Cricket Central can host night games, so I don't think they're playing any WBBL there this year, as obviously it's not on this list, so... It's a, probably a local venue, so I'm going to put it in D tier. Next state 
ground is Carmelton Oval, similar to quite a few other grounds. Hosts a lot of women's cricket, hosts WBBL, Sheffield Shield, One Day Cup, WNCL. So it has hosted women's internationals, not so much in the past couple of years. I think it also hosts local footy. Um, recently renovated, yeah, just hosts lots of women's and men's domestic cricket. All the bigger stuff obviously goes to Adelaide Oval, like some WBBL, Sheffield Shield, um, one Day Cup and WBBL and Internationals, some of those all go to Adelaide Oval. But it's a pretty good ground and does the job. So I reckon I'm going to put it in C, decent domestic ground, ahead of the WACA. Um, next ground is the newly named Ninja Stadium. Now I know a fair bit of this ground. Um know a fair bit about this ground as I have been there hundreds of times and times. I'm actually recording this on a day I'm going to watch the Sheffield Shield. But, um, yeah, it should be, or, no, I'm not actually. This is published on a different day. Um, this should, this stadium is a pretty nice stadium. Ninja Stadium hosts BBL, Men's Internationals, hosts everything in Hobart, which will, it, the landscape of it will change a bit once the Mac Point Stadium will probably be a bit more similar to what they do with, like, Create Central. The Wacker, Karen Rolton Over was I think Taz is like the only state that doesn't have like two grounds in their main city. So they have one for one stadium and one smaller ground. But a pretty decent stadium. Um David Boone stand is um a bit old, especially in North East Stand. But it's definitely more of a cricket ground than footy. Does host the occasional international and host quite a bit of Big Bash. So I reckon I'm going to put it in B, good domestic venue, probably at top given it's the biggest venue. Next ground, we've got all the stadiums now, Adelaide Oval, um, pretty self-explanatory, host Big Bash, internationals, tests, some Sheffield Shield, but it's a pretty good stadium. Um. A lot of people say one of the nicest creek grounds in the world with its um with its not like modern stands but then the famous skip hill and scoreboard. So yeah, this is an amazing ground for cricket and definitely is a lot better than some of these grounds, which makes sense as it's a bigger stadium. So I'm gonna probably put it in S for world class. Next ground is the Gabba. Now, as a same class with the Adelaide Oval host, Big Bash Internationals, some Sheffield Shield, some One Day Cup, but mo- mostly Big Bash and Internationals, and footy, like quite a lot of this ground, these grounds. Um, it's a pretty good ground. It is falling behind a bit, with uh, compared to some of the other Australian grounds, and probably is due for a renovation. But there's the whole. Olympic Stadium in Brisbane, Cusack, redevelopment, Gabba redevelopment saga. So, I, yeah, it's all a bit up in the air what its future holds. But, yeah, it probably does need a bit of a renovation. It is falling behind, but it's still better than the likes of North Sydney Oval. So I'm going to put it in A as an international venue. Next stadium is the SCG. Now, the SCG is a pretty nice stadium. Just got a nice arrangement of stands. Got the old and the new host, Big Bash, um, Sheffield Shield, some Sheffield Shield, internationals, footy, like a lot of the all four big stadiums. And it's a pretty nice ground. Um, it rains every year for the test, but Big Bash, the Sixers get pretty decent crowds. Tests get pretty decent crowds, pink tests. And WBBL, second year in a row, they've played what they call the stadium series there, so they'll play the Sydney Derby, so hopefully they can get a good crowd along to that. So, yeah, it's a good international venue, probably close to the head of the Gabba, if it lets me. Um, and then final stadium is the MCG. Now, this is pretty, 
pretty self-explanatory. Referred to as the Coliseum, the home of cricket in Australia, host BBL internationals. This year, obviously, WBBL. Um, Shield, some one-day cup, footy, every cricket that hosts all types of cricket, really. Um, yeah, and they're even hosting women's day night test there this year, which will be quite good to watch. But yeah, they're playing WBBL there for the first time in a while. I think they're playing the Melbourne Derby, part of the stadium series. They're playing the Gabba for the first time. And it holds 100,000. There's not much more to say. I um, think it can go on world class. But I'd say Adelaide Oval is probably more of a picturesque venue. So thanks for watching Ollie's on the Ball. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. And um, if you have any ideas, sport related, put them in the comment sections down below. My might end you guys 200 subscribers. So if you enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. It would really help out the channel. But thanks for watching and see you next time.